with the KX News Storm Team. Well, it looks like we get to enjoy another mild day tomorrow. Actually, for overnight lows tonight, it'll be milder than normal. The normal high temperature is an average somewhere in the single digits, and we could be in the 20s for the low, I mean, overnight. Tomorrow, many locations are going to be warmer than they were today. Not everybody, but most everybody will, and especially in the southwest where there's no snowpack, really having an easy time warming up and there was a good chance of snow on Wednesday. It does not appear to be heavy, but it does look like a good chance. And then if the snow doesn't get your attention, the much colder air that follows the snow will. Uh, you're going to be back to putting on the gloves and the stocking caps at least uh, for a couple of days, especially at night. In Bismarck, 33 degrees. East wind is at 14 miles an hour. So if you go outside, you know, it feels like it's 23. And in Minot, the uh, temperature is 26 degrees. East wind is at 8 miles an hour. Dickinson is 28, but it actually feels like 17 because of that 13 mile an hour breeze. So here are a few more temperatures. We have that southeasterly wind going, and you can see 20s and even some 30s still. Flasher at 33, and uh, Bowman has cooled off to uh, 25 right now. And looking at our precision cast for tonight, some areas a little more cloudy than other. But uh, no big uh, snowstorms or anything like that. Just get to, get to enjoy some pretty decent weather. So once we get into tomorrow morning, early in the day, still fairly cloudy. Now over in Montana, maybe around Glasgow, could have a little bit of snow. That's not uh, going to impact us one little bit. A few areas around the South Central, around Bismarck, maybe uh, Bowman, Hedinger, Beach, uh, Medora area might have a little more sunshine earlier, clear sky, maybe not sunshine at 7 in the morning, but of a, a clear sky. And then throughout the day, it looks like a few areas will enjoy some sunshine. Again, back into the 30s for most of us and then 40s uh, elsewhere. So tomorrow afternoon uh, still looks pretty decent. We'll get through the night uh, with a, another nice night as well. But things start changing on Wednesday. So here we are Wednesday morning at 8 o'clock. Now the timing in this is likely going to change between now and Wednesday. But it does. That's a pretty big area. It's not heavy. That's a pretty big area. And I know down in southeastern Montana they have a winter uh, weather advisory uh, because that's the area it's supposed to be the heaviest snow. North Dakota, one, two, maybe a couple spots or three inches. Most of us won't get that much. But that's early morning. And then throughout the day by the midday hours, uh, it uh, it's still you know, through the central part of the state, and by Wednesday night at 7, it moves off to the east. But now when you're looking off to the east, you can see much darker colors there, meaning it's likely going to be heavier snow for them. But not for us. For our area, uh, while there's a good chance of snow, don't worry about it being terribly heavy. But it's also going to get windy, too. And again, this data may change by Wednesday afternoon. But when I see these kind of colors on here and northwest, that is going to be cold air rushing in. Here's the next 72 hours for Dickinson. That is a humongous uh, drop. Yeah, I looked up in the dictionary. That's a real word that I just made up anyway, or are using. Uh, big drop on uh, from Tuesday to Wednesday. Thursday, high temperature in uh, Williston, single digits for the high temperature. So tonight, mostly 20s, and then tomorrow, mostly 30s, but some areas that don't have snow could hit the 40s, even some mid 50s. So here's a look at the Bismarck seven day. And again, pretty decent weather tomorrow. And then Wednesday is kind of the big day that everything changes pretty much area wide. So if you have things you want to do outside, maybe even put gas. I mean, it's not going to be brutally cold, right? but it's going to get a lot colder. Yeah, if it were me, I would take care of my outdoor activities tomorrow. Right now. That's yep. just me.